Hello, everyone. Welcome. I am Nishant Kohli, Senior Director of Product Management for our Lamata portfolio. I'm glad you're here. Welcome this morning. And you're seeing me live from Kirkland, Washington. So I hope to spend next 30 to 45 minutes with you and share some key product items and roadmap features as we go forward. Yeah, the session is really talking about how we weave through multi-cloud data fabric. <clears throat> we'll cover some of the roadmap sessions on our three product technologies, Edge Intelligence, our Lomata Data Optimizer, and Lomata Data Lake Manager. Here's a quick agenda as we cover the items as I mentioned. And at the end, we're going to close the session with a bit of a roadmap, but mostly around our vision where we're going next. So Hitachi Lamata automates our data ops. I don't really need to tell you what data ops is, but before I dive in, let's, let me share a little of our perspective on data ops and data fabric. The purpose of data ops is to streamline the delivery of data from source to consumer so businesses can be more agile. We think of data ops as a set of best practices and process originally developed by software developers in DevOps now applied to data engineers and data pipelines. Some of the most important elements include agile development, continuous integration, and intensive use of AI. Supporting these practices require an architecture that are more flexible, adaptable, and agile than our previous architectures. So if the practice is data ops, you might call the architecture itself a data fabric. This is exactly what Hitachi Ventara Lamata Data Services provides. Now let's look the data fabric that needs to enable a set of core capabilities along three dimensions. These three dimensions are analytics, governance, and operational agility. Our Lamata Data Service provides all these capabilities. Let's start at the bottom. Agility starts quickly to connect any kind of data source, hundreds of data connectors from cloud systems like Azure, AWS, and things like Snowflake, and from on-prem systems like SAP, RDMSs, mainframes, and then at the edge, devices, PLCs, video streams, and feeds, and et cetera. Once connected, the Mata makes it easy to configure and deploy data infrastructure. Storage and compute to lower the cost and increase agility. Now, with regards to governance, Lumata automates cataloging of data assets to identify sensitive data. It also has an intelligent policy-driven mechanism for protecting the data and complying to data regulations. Now, to enable analytics, Lumata provides self-service data access pipelines and data visualization, all no coding required. So why does this all matter? At the end of the day, Customers are looking for business op outcomes. By providing a data fabric to improve agility and data ops, Lamata improves the top line and the bottom line. Our Lamata data, data services saves customers money through automation, infrastructure optimization, and risk reduction. Lamata also helps customers make money by accelerating insights that support new revenue streams, new business models, and new products. Now let's look at the nuts and bolts of our Lamata portfolio. Products of suite presented here is conceptual reference architecture. On the left, you see data sources, either IT or OT. And on the right, we have solutions to deliver business outcomes. In the middle is our Lamata data service, a portfolio of established and new products that deliver capabilities within a composable, scalable, and easy to deploy service architecture. Now let's walk from top to bottom of some of these capabilities. Pentaho provides DI analytics and reporting that's backbone on Lamata analytics and integration offering. We also have our Hitachi content intelligence product, which helps us process and analyze unstructured data, content like documents, images, this is largely used in banking customer 360 type environments. Moving down the stack, we have our Lumata data catalog. A full enterprise data catalog enables by our recent acquisition of Waterline data catalog. 
We announced Lumata Data Lake at our user conference last October. It is a flexible collection of modules that support a range of data lake management needs. Everything from simple cost optimization for existing Hadoop-based data lake to a full feature modern data lake based on our Hitachi content platform, which is our object store technology. Also, we have our Lumata Edge intelligence component. Lumata data services by supporting streaming real-time data at the edge. Now let's look at each of these products a bit more closely now. So some of the key things we're gonna cover are our Lumata Edge Intelligence, Lumata Data Optimizer, Lumata Data Lake. So starting with our intelligent operations at the edge. Lumata Edge Intelligence is delivered via same Kubernetes-based container platform as other Lumata products and includes many of the same services. The key difference is that at Edge product can be slimmed down to very small footprint. It includes configuration optimized for Edge use cases, such as connectors to common OT systems, such as PLCs. A highly scalable fault tolerance streaming ingestion for machine generated data and support for localized analytics and processing that needs to be done in real time. The Edge product will also include specialized modules for data device management, edge security, and things like digital twin. Our edge technology is obviously core differentiator for our industrial use cases, but it's also as important application in other verticals such as banking, retail, government, and more. Our edge technologies are already being applied to use cases, everything from video analytics in retail and healthcare applications to an analyze behavior-based auto insurance. It will increasingly differentiate our data fabric as more and more companies look to transform their business with device data. Especially in this age, device data is becoming more critical to be able to help our businesses and our customers achieve their end outcome. Let's talk about form factors here. Lomata Edge Intelligence comes in many forms, form factors. It can be as small as a gateway device, then we have a medium to large divide, devices, which is our Lumata Edge Intelligence appliance. Our Edge appliance provides a full edge functionality along with highly scalable, highly available, and a load balancing environment. Our Edge Manager, which is a web-based app to manage edge deployments. So as you grow your deployment of edge gateways, you want a nice, easy capability to be able to monitor all of these gateway devices at a single pane of class. We also provide iOS applications. We actually have two different iOS apps, one able to manage, the other to monitor edge software on the go. And at the end, we also provide enterprise class support across all our edge gateway, edge intelligence products technologies. Let's look at LEI, short form for Lumata Edge Intelligence, a set of microservices that are managed by Edge Runtime Framework, which provides capabilities such as container orchestration, logging, authentication, authorization. We also have HA and load balancing ability built into the system and ability to de deploy serverless workloads. As you can see, our Lumata Edge Runtime Framework is a feature-rich, but at the same time, a secure platform that provides capabilities at the edge. A key component of our Lumata Edge Intelligence product is ability to integrate with disparate OT and IT data sources. Data ingestion via MQTT, AMQP, Modbus, and REST is available right out of the box. But that's not only it. We also have 100 plus connectors available via our Edge Connect, which we can store any type of data, provide optimized databases for various data types right at the edge. Let's look at data routing and analytics, which are some of the key capabilities of our Lumata Edge Cape product. So LEI provides a fault tolerant, high performance streaming data pipelines to enable AI ML at the edge and addresses the real-time processing needs of IoT use cases. 
We can run Spark jobs at the edge, route data from source to destination through configuration in Edge Manager, and we can package and deploy AI ML models built with the language framework of your most com compatible in. You can see that our Lumana Edge product is a full feature capable product where you can integrate third party applications and deploy it in our Edge runtime framework. This concludes a bit of our Lumata Edge capability. Next, we're going to dive into what we call our Lumata Data Lake capabilities. We have two capabilities there, which I'll dive further into. One, what we call Lumata Data Optimizer, focused to help our Hadoop data lakes out there. And the other is Lumata Data Lake Manager. I'll talk a little bit more around the Data Lake Manager after. But for Lumata Data Optimizer, for companies that have already invested heavily in Hadoop-based data lake infrastructure and are looking to ways to lower the cost of their existing data lakes. That's where our Lumata Data Optimizer provides key functionality. It also provides set of policy-based services for intelligent and seamless archiving and retrieval of between HDFS and our object store Hitachi content platform. These services allow data lake applications to operate while in the background data is moving seamlessly to more cost optimized hot or cold tiers. Our Lumata data lake is a fully featured data lake solution. It is our modern data object store based data lake similar to what customers are deploying in public cloud, but that can span edge to data center and to multi-cloud. It provides a single metadata layer that abstracts the physical location of data from the data flow and analytics services running on top of it. The physical storage might be on premise with our ATP, our object store, or an Amazon S3 bucket, or Azure, or a Google Cloud's environment, any S3 compatible object store technology, for matter of fact. It also provides a policy engine for simplifying automating storage data quality, and data assessment rules. Packaged with powerful data flows and analytics engine, the data lake becomes a cost-efficient, easily-to-govern data management platform for analytics needs. Now let's spend some more time in what our customers asked us for. Generally, due to large amount of cold, data, cold and unused data, customers want to tier their this cold data from Hadoop nodes to save money and reduce complexity. Now, tiering cold data will free up capacity from hot and warm data and avoid expanding the Hadoop environment to many compute and storage nodes by accommodating all the data. But if they tier cold data, they would still want to have seamless or transparent access to all the data, including tiering cold data, as a result, data path must be unaltered. They also asked us to be able to still meet the SLAs that they had initially defined. So not only the access to data should be transparent, tiering data should also require no change to the application using the, that data. Utilizing existing Hadoop utilities and interfaces to manage all data should be of no issue. Thus, no additional points of management or in, are introduced. Let's look at the problem and then explain through it. As a cluster fills up age and active data, you must add nodes to expand the storage. However, you cannot add nodes, simply just add nodes. You need to add additional storage. Having to simultaneously add compute and storage together creates an inefficient balance and utilization of resources which becomes very costly and with today's storage capacity demands. Adding compute nodes just to satisfy demand for storage only adds tremendous amount of additional overhead, but not only CPU memory, power cooling, but rack space and management. This becomes further more complicated and compounded as Hadoop-based storage environments replicate three copies of the data in their environment for HA. This consumes even more capacity in Hadoop resources, especially in the storage and compute. If additionally replication Hadoop data, that means you're now storing more copies of data at the same time. On average, 
we estimate between 60 to 80% of Hadoop data is cold infrequently accessed. Generally, that is you know, in a large customer environments, tend to be in banking industry or other er environments where we're talking at a petabyte plus storage capacity being used in the Hadoop environment. We have developed a solution called LDO for short for the Data Optimizer. We independently scale storage and compute for greater flexibility and resource utilization. We try to avoid adding compute just to store petabytes of cold data. We also provide our ATP object store technology, which massively scales and can store petabytes and petabytes of data. This improved utilization and reduced the cost by eliminating Hadoop three replication inactive data. Scale and compute storage independently is key aspect of our offering and our solution. So our optimized Hadoop resources consumption and utilization, Hadoop maintains three copies of data for redundancy and availability. This consumes additional storage and compute resources. Thus why the object store technology reduces that capacity by 3x, if not at least just by 1.2 type of data storage. We use erasure coding storage in our object store to provide the same HA capability and flexibility, yet at a very well streamed cost. So at the end, we're looking to avoid com growing compute nodes. We're also looking to improve the capacity utilization by our object store technology. We also built a TCO calculator. Here's a simple example of a FinSurf company where they have close to 43 petabytes of Hadoop data lake, over a thousand plus nodes accounting for reporting. It grows 20% over three years. So only if 10 petabytes of hot data, in fact, over eight petabytes of cold data being needs to be retained. By replacing eight and a half petabytes, we're able to save close to $5 million in hardware software savings. And not to include the labor cost and reduce a massive footprint reduction in server management. At the end of the day, we're also saving them lots of power and cooling. So this concludes our Lamada Data Optimizer capability. There's sessions later today, which can go deep dive into these technology and capabilities. Feel free to enjoy. So let's look at our Lamada Data Lake. Why we came up with our Lamada Data Lake Manager is to challenge, really save us some of the key data lake challenges we hear from our customers. Some of those are, can't extract value from data across disconnected silos. We have either too many disconnected data puddles, ponds or swamp and existing or new environments. Other is onboarding data management is too manual, costly, and potentially insecure in a lot of environments. Many times it's taking customers six to 12 months to build business applications that can take advantage of this valuable data that they are storing in their environment. So time to value and effort to value is some of the key things that our customers were looking from the data lake technologies to solve for them. So our response to that is a modern data lake for edge to core to cloud and multi-cloud environments. Our Lamada data lake capabilities provide a logical fabric across all data. And what I mean by logical data fabric, it's really providing an extraction layer from where the data resides. Built on top of our capabilities of Lamada data catalog, which provides capability to virtualize data across different technologies, it can catalog and provide metadata across different types of data silos, either in our object store technology, Hadoop base, maybe databases or cloud object stores and giving you a single pane of glass to access all that information. We also introduced concept of these data zones. The concept of zones helps us abstract uh, data in different silos. We have raw, curated, published. These are some examples of zones that we have introduced, but those can be any and many zones based on what your needs are. The idea of zones is also to abstract the data from the core storage, but also provide applications access in some native format. So the, for example, the raw storage zone 
or raw zone is really an idea where all the data can be first initially uh, dumped into our data lake. We have automation with our data flow capabilities to abstract data and bring it into a curated zone into a particular format that might be parquet ready for analytics use and eventually into a published zone where applications like analytics applications, Tableau and others can take advantage of it and even our own Pentaho BA. This helps eliminate needs for potentially data warehouse or data cubes by providing such capability. Now let's take a look at use case of uh, you know, improving ACA risk score for a customer environment. This is one example of LDL, short for Lamada Data Lake. We're working with one of our customers. In this scenario, a customer is processing claims data that might or might not be complete. The customer is trying to determine if all of the associate billing codes related to patient visits have been included in a claim. To improve the accuracy and competency of a claim, the customer is using our Lamada Data Lake to build their data lake and an AI system that will eliminate and evacuate past claims and patient records to identify potential billing holes. Our data flow manager is used to define the ETL workflow so the data is properly ingested and analyzed. We leverage our data catalog, which provides interface through which data is found and across determined uh, found across the different data silos. Lamada Data Lake Manager provides management of services, configuration, and security, and facilitate operational aspects of a data lake. Now, to together with Lamada Data Lake, provides an environment which the claims data is connected, the AI system performs analysis, and feedback is provided. It is important to note that Lamada Data Lake is a semi-virtual construct. Some of the data is in the data lake is fully managed, like AI data, while other data assets are unmanaged and sitting in customers or applications environments or databases like Oracle. Managed data means it resides in data location where data lake has full CRUD control. And unmanaged data means the data resides in a location that data lake does have visibility to the data but does not have CRUD control. In this sense, our data catalog has access and visibility to the data, but we're not looking to modify that data. It's mostly a read-only construct. So as you can see in this use case, customers were able to achieve their end goal and reduce the cost as patients were coming in and they were able to build them with the right code using our Lamada Data Lake capabilities. Here's another example, similar, but more in the construct of OT, still in the health industry. This is a very typical use case where a number of remote home healthcare IoT devices are reporting data back to the central repository. So the primary care provider can make adjustments to the patient's care. In this case, IoT devices could be a heart monitor or other devices are sending data back to our data lake via over the internet and stored in our data lake. Once the data is stored in the data lake, the AI system can analyze the data, provide feedback to PCP for reviews. The PCP can use an application that tapping into our data catalog and AI patient data to make more informed decisions. Now, the key understanding how data lake assists in this effort at, with the ease, which is hot IoT data is ingested and our catalog it's cataloged in our catalog capability. The edge intelligence solution provides fast auto scaling ingestion environment required to capture data from millions of devices on the fly. This facilitates quickly captured data while also taking advantage of large data analytics capabilities on our data lake. Again, at the end of the day, the customer spends a lot less time onboarding data and spends more time providing capability to their end customers and provide better functionality to their as a service provider. And at the end of the day, a better patient care is provided. Now let's look at finally, you know, the four pillars that we're looking to provide as part of our Lamada data op suite, which are key differentiators for us. Governing, governing at data and accessing access for distribution, intelligent pipeline and automation, edge to core to multi-cloud 
and open embeddable architecture are the key foundations for us. We'll dive a little bit deeper into each of these components. So for Govern Data Democracy, there is, is a collaborative synergy between data producers and data users. This results in faster data delivery, better trust in data, and ultimately most innovation with data. Our Lumata Data Catalog already provides features that engages customers in data curation, such as rating components, ability to make comments, and train the fingerprinting technology to help drive better results. Before this will work, need to engage users by providing them access to analytics tools to exploring prep and visualization. Our Pentao BA technology or Pentao BI PDI technology provides ability to extract information and ingest it into our data catalog. The suite of combination will increase innovation while also provide a powerful governance feature such as policy-based masking, pseudonymization, data protection, and end-to-end -end lin data lineage. These are some of the key things our customers look for when thinking about data governance and democracy. Intelligent data automation pipeline. Some of the key things, you know, capabilities that come from our PDI, Pentaho Data Integration, HCI, Hitachi Content Intelligence, and Edge Intelligence helps Lumata tackle any data integration challenges from big data batches to real time streaming to document processing. We have hundreds of connectors to any data type sources. We have a complete menu of data transformation logic. And at the end, a pipeline design easy and scalable with template driven design for smart features like joining recommendations. At the end of the day, once control is given our Lumata data catalog, to our Lumata data catalog, as data is added, and continuously processed by a catalog pipe profiling engine, a fingerprinting model suggests a new business tags for the data. Stewards needs to only approve or reject tags to make them operation, which helps to further train models and improve data accuracy. Customers like HP use this to manage petabytes of scale data lakes that previously wouldn't have become a data swarm. Finally, looking at our edge to multi-cloud environment, ultimately, we want to be able to make easy data access at any location. Of course, it means that software needs to be easily deployable in all of these locations. To achieve this, Lumata software is delivered in containerized, service deployable, Kubernetes environment. We also streamline deployment and management of data lake by our key automation capabilities. As I mentioned earlier, we also provide applica third party applications which are containerized into our edge capability or into our Lumata data services. At the end of the day, edge to core to cloud deployment also present challenges and bandwidth constraints in distributing environment. Compute engine needs to be deployed where data resides. Thus, our edge technology helps us really focus where our data pipelines needs to be run closer to where the data resides, regardless of running in a data center, a train, or all the way into the cloud. Finally, our Lumata data catalog provides a single metadata repository. It also integrates with other metadata management systems such as Calibra, so customers don't fear that Lumata has become the only access to the information or the final silo environment. Once the met metadata is captured and centrally managed, it makes it possible to manage data and infrastructure in a single control plane. And finally, as I mentioned, we are providing an open embeddable architecture. What does that mean? It helps us integrate with third-party application, helps us provide a flexible framework, and also recently we launched something called our Lumata Solution Hub, uh, where customers or SIs can use these components and rapidly assemble custom solutions for themselves. As I mentioned, Lumata Data Service delivers transformative solutions. We're starting to focus on key areas, things like customer interactions. We're focusing on solutions in financial services, and finally, in the industrial operations. Some of those might be in predictive maintenance, potentially even challenges in supply chain, especially in this day and age in the COVID world that we live in. 
So hopefully this was an informative session. Please stay with us for the rest of the rest of the sessions and deep dive into our capabilities with our catalog, Lamata Edge. Thank you very much and have a nice day.